All right, hey guys, so uh, the guys from ANA Tactical had said that they had a question come in about what'll fit in the uh, cummerbund they make, you know, specifically dealing with radios. So I got a pretty good smorgasbord here, uh, just to go over this real quick. Um, so both a 152 and a 148 will fit as well as a Motorola XTS series, uh, this happens to be 3000, and then APX 8000. So most radios will fit. Uh, I don't know if something like a Bofang is going to be too small. Uh, I don't have one on hand to see. Um, I will say though that if your plans are to run a radio in the Cumberbund, uh, I would request some sort of provision for shock cord uh, to secure that in there because even though they fit they're pretty tight and as you move around and these things get uh, bumped and kind of raise up in the pouch a little bit it's too tight for them to settle back in uh, and it's tight enough to kind of hold that slack there until it eventually comes out so I did run around with this a little bit none of them came out um, <clears throat> just trying to shake them out real quick but you know, over a day of rucking or something like that, who knows, uh, they might come out. Mags, it's not a problem at all. The radios are, are just thick enough. And then also keep in mind that your front cell is, uh, it's gonna be pretty tight once you have a radio in here. So where you can stack pistol mags and rifle mags in this thing, stacking a pistol mag on top of your radio may not be the best idea. You know, 152 with the buttons towards you you're probably not gonna cause any damage to the radio. Something a little bit more fragile, like the Motorola's, you know, you might mar up your screen pretty well, or uh, you might be hitting some keys if you've got a keypad on the radio. Um, so that's those four radios. And then just really quick, so you guys can see it, I've got a, uh, an older ICOM here. I don't know how big they are nowadays. That thing fits like a champ. Um, that is about as, as loose as I'd want a radio in there and you could probably still get away with using the front pocket um, because it's got enough slack in there but that is uh, the selection of radios uh, that you can fit in one of these things I'm gonna go ahead and reset and then I'll show you what they've done to make this friendly for the JPC all right so to the best of my knowledge I have the first uh, JPC cummerbund that they've made um, I got one of the original ones when they first came out and I really dig the flexibility it provides so when we moved over to JPC's um, I was I was asking for one of those so you know not a whole lot's changed up front um, you've still got the the paracord pull tab here you can double it back and uh, it kind of makes like a quick doffing thing if you leave that hanging out uh, under your cummerbund flap you can grab it and kind of pull your cummerbund out from under the flap if you have to ditch it. Um, and then moving on to the back here. So they have transitioned and they give you some molly. So my particular one is two, two rifle cells with two pistol cells on top. And then one, two, three, four, five, six uh, columns of molly on each side. So. The way I've got mine tightened up, I have two fully usable columns coming out from the back plate, and that works well for me. I've put a pouch on there, and it stays plenty tight, um, so no concerns there. Now, I don't know, you know, having one of the first ones, if not the first one, I gave him some feedback. I don't know how much this is going to change um, as he progresses on with making these, um, so I'm not going to go over the feedback that I gave him too much but hopefully it's just a little bit to streamline this thing and make it slightly more usable for you guys. Just some, some space efficiencies, but you know, two cells, uh, which are stacked and then six rows of Molly. And, uh, that fits me pretty well. Uh, I wear between a medium and large, um, shirt size and have about a 42 inch chest and, and that leaves plenty of flexibility in the back here. I mean, you can see I could go, a lot tighter and I could go a good bit looser and still be fine so I think that's gonna be a pretty pretty solid size if you're pretty far off from that sizing you might want to address that concern 
but I think you've got enough room there. All right, thanks guys.